Let's take a quick look at rabies. This is a scary disease because it is fatal to both people and pets. And every year, we should take a look at how we keep ourselves and our pets safe. Most cases of rabies occur in wildlife, but occasionally there's a spillover of the virus from the wildlife population to our domestic pets, and that can potentially expose people to the deadly virus. Rabies is such an important disease because it is fatal in both people and pets. Rabies is so uncommon in dogs and cats that when a bite occurs, the pet is usually only confined for 10 days for observation and no anti-rabies treatment is recommended. If the dog or cat appears healthy at the time that they bite someone and is current on the rabies vaccination at that time and remains healthy during a 10-day quarantine period after the bite, then we can feel confident that they are not infected with rabies at that time. However, if your pet's rabies vaccination is not current, it may be required to be quarantined for up to six months. This quarantine and observation time is very important because of the way the rabies virus acts in the body. Pets that are current on the rabies vaccinations simply do not carry the risk of exposure that unvaccinated pets and wild animals may carry. That's why rabies vaccinations are so important. The frequency of rabies vaccinations in our dogs and cats varies depending on the area of the country and the city and county regulations. Therefore, especially this time of the year, it's important to visit your veterinarian and make sure all your pet's vaccinations are up to date and properly documented. I can't overemphasize the importance of this vaccination and making sure the rabies tag is on your pet. This alone can get your pet back to you in case they're lost and save you fines and a lot of heartache. I'm Dr. Jim Humphreys reporting.